Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to do a little review or overlook on the Spyderco balance. And as Bob said in Jeff's video, son of a gun's not very balanced. Alright, that's enough with Bob. I can't wait to meet Bob, by the way. Anyway, back to the knife review. I just had to bring that up because Bob just popped into my mind. Such a silly little man, but he's funny. Alright, anyway. You see it's got the carbon fiber scales. Um, I really like those. It's got a slick feel to it, but all carbon fiber, I assume, does. I've never had a carbon fiber knife before. It's got a uh, VG10 steel blade. Got your spidey hole. Got your finger coil. Uh, made by Ed uh, Shimp. Maybe that will focus enough that you can see. Let me see here. Okay, not today. But anyway, you know what it says if you've seen them before. It's got um, the steel liners, which I really like. Any knife. I, I, I know, everybody wants skeletonized liners, less weight. I'm a dork. I like full liners. So it's got the full liners. Right here it's got a little indentation so you can reach the liner lock easier. Uh, there it is. Alright. Things I really dislike. Oh, one more thing I do like. I do like the pocket clip. Um, it, it, it's very secure in my pocket and I never did lose it like some other people have claimed. Maybe I just know how to handle my knives better than them. Yeah, that's what it is, I'm sure. But anyway, the pocket clip, it, 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 it rides nice in my pocket. But, to get to the things I dislike. Um, three fingers, all I can get on there. Put my fourth one, it's on the end here, so it really don't count. And if you watched all my previous videos, I like a four finger grip on all my knives. But, so this one is just a three finger. Now, onto the ramp. We need some jumping, in my opinion. Your finger's not going to go nowhere. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to go anywhere. But, it's not got the jumping, so it's slick. Or, uh, I guess slick could work, but yeah, I, just a little bit of jumping, I think, would have made it much better for, you know, traction and stuff. But your finger, if you slip, I mean, you're not going to go anywhere. But, I would just prefer to have jimping. Alright. Another thing that I really like is the blade shape. That's the only reason I trade it for this. It's wicked. But it will be back on the market probably soon. Okay. Another strong, strong, strong dislike. This lock sucks. Very good lock up. We got about ah, about a 50%. But it's rough. I mean, if it's not going to cut you, but it honestly, it feels like it's going to. It's so rough. It needs jimping, jimping or uh, smoothed out more, or I don't really know what you could do to it. But how Spider Co. did it, it don't work for me. It's really, really stiff for one, and when you finally do push on it, it actually hurts your thumb because it's so like. I wouldn't say pointy, but it's like, it's not not fine enough or, you know, I just, I really believe it needs jimping to make it better. But that is, my, that's the thing I dislike most about the entire, entire folder is the lock. It is, uh, there, very tough to even deal with. Now, as for the construction... It's got uh, torque, so that's a good thing. I like the torque construction, um, so I can take it apart and tinker with it. Anybody that knows me, they know I'm a tinker queen. I like to take everything apart and make her better. But that's basically my view on the Spyderco Balance. Cool little knife for somebody with smaller hands, like a female. I might be one, but I got some big old hands here. But, I mean, it's a cool little knife for the female uh, but or just somebody with smaller hands or you know and the Spyderco collector this is great for them I mean this is going to be a collector's piece it was a limited run of 600 or 800 if I'm thinking right 
but you know I like to use my knives I'm not much for collecting anything I like to use them and this is not going to get much use because I can't get a four finger grip on it so for now I'm going to hold on to it but if the right trade comes along she's out the door but that's that and as for me being a tinker queen you guys seen this Phoenix TK20 the other day with the uh, gray rubber grip here I told you I was going to remove it well I did uh, it was it was really really difficult to remove the newer TK's 20's which this one was they're glued on the old ones they didn't used to be glued on and you could roll them off this one was glued on but I still wanted it off because you'll see when I get the flashlight completed so we won't go into that because that's a good thing for another video so I had to put sticks under here spray Windex spray uh, Gooby Gone and all that under there get some pliers and jerk and pull and it took me about 15 minutes and my hands was blood red when it was done because it was it was on there good so now I gotta clean all these grooves out and get all this other uh, glue that they had on there off and when I get the other stuff done to it uh, I'll be putting new glue on and putting the other pieces on you'll see when it's finished don't want to give you too much information I want you to stay tuned for the next video but anyway that's that um, appreciate all your support the subscriptions uh, we got a lot more videos coming your way so stay tuned tell your friends come on over we'll make it a party alright you guys have a good one thanks for watching